Hi everyone, my name is Paulo and today I'm going to be showing you how I set up my new ePhoto Ink 4 foot DSLR mini jib. It comes in a nice durable carrying bag and it's pretty much assembled. All you have to do is extend it to its full length and tighten the lock nuts. Then attach the handle and the same thing, slide it into place and tighten the lock nut as well. For convenience, I attach a slick SBH 100 DQ ball head with quick release. Attaching a ball head with quick release makes it possible to change the angle of the camera in certain shots. In order for this mini jib to work as it should, it helps that you attach it to a nice sturdy tripod. Using the quick release plate from the tripod and attaching it to the mini jib makes it easy and simple to attach and remove when necessary. The next step is to attach it to the tripod. Just slide it into place and tighten it in place. The ePhoto Ink 4 foot DSLR mini jib does not come with weights included. The weights you see here I purchased at Walmart for about five bucks, that five pound weight. And all I did was remove the handle, twist it out of place, and then tighten it in place after I slid the weight in. To attach the camera, it's pretty simple. This is where the quick release plate on the ball head really helps out. Just attach it to it nice and easy. To balance the jib is pretty simple as well. One thing that you can do is tighten the resistance lug nuts right there on the middle. But if uh, the best way is to adjust the weight and in this case, since the camera is on the heavier side, you move the weight away from the camera, retighten it, and there you have it. Wherever you leave it, it should stay. And that's pretty much it, folks. That's how I set up my new T-Photo Ink DSLR mini jib. It's four foot in length, it's made out of aluminum and lightweight, super carryable anywhere you go. And it's easy. And that's what I like about it. To take apart, it's basically the same way you put it together. In this case, I use the table to make it easy to deassemble everything out of its place and then putting it right back in the nice little bag that it comes with. And that's it, folks. Uh, that's how I use my uh, new jib. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope uh, that this video is helpful. For those of you who are wondering how to attach weight to this jib. Below I'll have the links to this jib, uh, to the tripod, and to the slick ball head with quick release. You guys can check it out for yourselves. And if you like this video, please like it. And uh, if you like more of these kinds of videos, please subscribe. Thank you, folks. I'll see you next time.